Whoa, so it's me, Mushroom Mike. And uh, sorry, you can't really see me. You can see my hands in the camera. But uh, the dirt bag asked me uh, if I could show you guys how I do my art on these bottles. So uh, here we go. <laughs> so uh, you probably won't be seeing my face, but you'll be seeing my hands. And you'll see my bottle here. You know, so uh, I obviously already traced the uh, circle that I'm going to use as the uh, the spot where we're going to paint in, you know. So uh, I just use an old sticker backing and uh, this little uh, white pencil to uh, draw out that uh, circle, you know. So yeah, <laughs> righteous. So anyway... Uh, I don't have the best acrylic paints in the world, but um, they work pretty good for what I'm trying to do. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find ourselves a nice dark blue because um, what we're going to represent in this painting today of this bottle is uh, Irish red that they sell at uh, Tier C Brewing Company. All right. So anyway, so I was thinking because... Their uh, their mascot's a spaceman, a, a dude in a space suit, right? So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do the whole circle in a dark blue, and then we're gonna paint the red planet, which is Mars, to represent the Irish red, right? And then um, we're gonna put the spaceman about here, and he's got a little flag that comes off his backpack, right? So we're gonna paint that flag in the colors of the uh, Irish flag, I believe. Uh, and then I might write Irish red across, or Irish in the red at the bottom, I don't know. And then um, I'd also like to try to incorporate a uh, four leaf clover in there somewhere, you know? Because that's the symbol for their Irish red. So that's pretty much what I'm going for right here. So. I think what I'm gonna do is, like I said, uh, paint the whole thing dark blue, and then we're gonna go over it and put um, Olympus Mons in the background, because I think that'd be pretty sick. That way, you know, the little spaceman has something to stand in front of, you know? So, uh, I'm gonna start by, uh, I like to use the glass itself as the, um, his uh visor you know that way it's got that little bit of a shine right there you know so that's why we got this tape out all right so i'm gonna cut the tape and put it on there and then we'll start painting all right so first off i'll take a little bit of tape and then we'll cut it and then all right where is this guy's head gonna be about right here right Okay, so that's kind of a big screen, right? So then we'll take our knife and then we'll kind of shape it, right? So we'll cut straight down right there. All right. Alright. And then just kind of use that knife was a gift actually. From my buddy's wedding. Isn't that cool? You go to a wedding and you get a gift instead of giving a gift. Cause the gift I give is the gift of myself. So there we go. We kind of got a little bit of a basis for the screen. Uh, for his visor. All right, so we'll just 
chip that out. All right. Then obviously we'll be paying over a lot of this. So. All right. I think that'll do for now. Once I uh, peel it away, I'll paint a little bit over it to kind of like get the right shape for the white uh, outer lines and stuff, you know. But that's a good spot to stop right there. There we go. Get that out of the way. All right. And I like to use these shop towels to uh, clean up, you know, get the oils and residues off. You're not going to paint. And also to clean my paintbrushes, you know. They're real versatile. All right, so there we go. All right, then we'll put this off to the side. We'll put this knife away. All right, so let's see here. Let's find ourselves a real dark blue. All right, I think I like this one right here. Ooh, I haven't used it yet, so it's still fresh and new. All right. Righteous. Okay. So we'll put that there. All right. So I'm not really a Bob Ross type. I wouldn't say I'm a great painter. I just like playing with paint. You know? Not really an artist. But anyway, because we're going to be doing big, big cover. And I figured I'd use this big paintbrush to kind of, you know, get in there and get the paint moving, you know? So we're going to go ahead. It's a brand new brush, so we got to get the, uh, that, like, hairspray or whatever they put on the hair to keep it nice and solid you know for transportations and such it feels like a glue so anyway we'll get that nice and cleaned up get the brush kind of moving all right a little bit more water you know there we go then we'll, oh, there's already an issue right there. Paintbrush is falling apart. All right. I like to try to make sure I don't have any of these little stray hairs, you know, because they kind of screw you up when you're painting. But, all right, so here we go. So we'll just kind of start spreading the paint up to the line. Basically, I like to try to get it all up in there as best as I can. Get a good coverage, good coat, you know? So that way we have plenty of room to work with, you know? And it's fine if you paint the whole thing. I mean, I'm obviously gonna be painting red over it or orange, you know, to get the uh, Mars color that I want, you know, for the red planet. But I think that this is a good base coat, and plus, um, the way these acrylics work, uh, I'm not, I mean, don't get me, don't get me all mixed up or anything, like, I know what I'm talking about, but it's like, it's a lot easier to paint lighter colors over these dark colors, you know? So, that's where we're at right now, we're just kind of getting this paint in there, and just basically paint the whole circle in this blue. Even though I know, like I said, we're going to paint several other colors over the top of it. It'll be okay. You know? And then we're also going to do a ring on the outside to break it up from the rest of the bottle. Because I'm not sure if you can see. Oh, uh, no. It looks a lot better in, in camera. But uh, it's actually a really dark color. And also, I'm kind of painting one of the darker rooms in the house, so. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. All right. 
so there we go. We just kind of spread this paint across, get a good little layer down. Um, like I said, you can see a lot better in that camera, which is crazy. Like, cause looking at it right now in person, it's real dark. And I mean, it's shiny, the bottle's shiny. I mean, there's no point in paying clear over that tape because it's going to have to move. So you want to be able to make sure you have a little spot that you can chip it out from, you know? But like I said, you just want to get this paint across here kind of as even as you can. It's not going to be perfect because it's just that's just the nature of acrylic. Um, it's just kind of funny because I ran out. <laughs> I thought I'd put it down, a lot down, but then again, it's a pretty big brush, so it's sucking up a lot of that paint. But that's fine, you know, like I said, this is just to get the color down. This works really good. And um, I don't know, I like the acrylic because it's easy to clean, believe it or not. So there we go, we're just going around the edges of the circle to make sure it's all nice and filled in, and then we'll pull it back over to the middle there we go. You know, that way we have our parameter set for where we're going to be painting. This is all our spot, right? There we go. It's okay if you go outside the line a little tiny bit, you know? But there it is, you know? Pretty nice. Uh, there we go. We got a whole blue circle now. A nice blue sphere to paint in, you know? So then we'll take a little bit more of this blue paint and just kind of keep going over it. That way we have a nice even coat. All right. Definitely want to make sure that the evenness is obviously close to the top because we got a lot of ground to cover with other paint colors but um, I think I'm pretty happy with that for right now so I think I'm gonna leave it there and let it dry um, clean up my paint brushes and get the paint out of that thing but uh, there you go so there's that circle that I wanted to get knocked out it's pretty even I think so We'll leave it there for right now. I'll be back in a minute to, uh, once it dries out, to do a little bit more. And then, I don't know, I don't want to make this too long and sorry, 13 minutes. So I'm going to have to speed up a lot of this stuff. All right? But anyway, I'll be back to show you a little bit more later. All right. So now that the bottle's dry, we can go ahead and start doing our next layer. But uh, what I was going to say real quick is... Um, because that last video was kind of, well, that last portion of the video was kind of long. I don't want to make this like a 45 minute video. So um, I'm going to break it up into a couple of weeks. So we'll go through this a uh, little bit by little bit, you know, until we get the way we want. You know what I mean? But real quick before I go, uh, let's uh, just go ahead and figure out what color we want to throw down for Mars. You know, okay, so. Uh, Permian red, orange, re orange. Uh, that's rose. It's more pink than anything. Um, that's. Huh. And we have crimson. All right. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Is I'm gonna start uh, laying down uh, where I want um, Mars to be. All right. So we'll go ahead and. Put down a little bit of orange and then we'll start painting the orange parts uh, we'll kind of draw an imaginary line about right here and we'll just paint that way up in orange because I want to kind of draw Olympus Mons in the background as a mountain you know to give us some uh, perspective you know and then above that we'll do a little earth and a little starship all right, so this is, I guess with the, yeah, 
We'll just do it with this big brush because we want to get a lot of paint out there, you know? So we'll go ahead and get the paint on here. And uh, there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and follow the blue where we had it for the circle. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but yeah. And we just kind of want to get a line going. And then we'll obviously go over it again with a finer brush to get the details we want, but we just want to get this line in here. You know, so that way we know where the middle ground is. And like I said, we don't want to paint too much of where the where the uh, visor is going to be because we'll be going over that other stuff, you know. But there we go. Just kind of getting that orange in there. Nice and even, you know, because this is going to be our red planet. Irish red. All right. Now, granted, I'll probably get this done today because, like I said, it's going to be about 45 minutes job he job but um i don't want this to be a 45 minute video so there we go now we're just gonna turn this little corner like i said we're just gonna go over the blue Stay in the lines, you know, like kindergarten. As best as you can. I mean, you can go over a little tiny bit. It's not going to be that big of an issue. All right. And there it is. A little bit of our red planet. All right. So then we'll go this way again. the top of where the visor is get up in there just a little bit more all the way across kind of in a line and then we'll freehand Olympus Mons later on once this dries out and we can use a slightly better Brush. Uh, righteous. All right. Well, there you go. Doesn't look like much yet, but we'll get there. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Y'all keep it moist. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, remember, like uh, Dirtbag always says, Sharing is caring, you know, and uh, we greatly appreciate it. So if you guys could just uh, go ahead and let your friends know about our channel, you know. He does Motorcycle Mondays. I'm doing this painting tutorial Wednesday, I guess, for a little while until we figure out something else for Wednesdays, you know. Wednesday will be like, uh, I guess, like uh, variety stuff, you know. Like one day will be this and then next time it'll be something else you know going around traveling like last week he was at the tiki bar that was fun wish i could have gone that would be pretty nice nice anyway yeah so uh please like share and subscribe and uh tell your friends all right and uh i think movies will be on fridays all right cool so i get i'll see you guys later all right righteous